Call them the flying dead, if you will. But Anthony Cantrell's zombie bees seen here are no joke for Sherry Englert and others in Vermont's beekeeping industry. Unfortunately, it's a little bit funny to people, and it, it certainly isn't funny. It's, it's, a, it's another problem. Cantrell, a beekeeper, says he noticed about 30 of his bees acting strangely last fall. He sent them away for testing. Do you think you've got what it takes to be a zombie hunter? After discovering a program called Zombie Watch, the results were positive. The first batch of zombie bees discovered in New England. The most common bumblebee. Vermont State Entomologist Alan Graham says he couldn't believe it. I hadn't even heard of the term zombie bees. Graham says zombie bees are created by this parasitic fly that lays eggs in the honeybee's stomach. The eggs would hatch and the parasites would grow in the abdomen and it triggers a behavior in the honeybee which is very unusual that makes the honeybee decide that it wants to fly at night. The infected honey makers also move erratically. Staggering around like zombie bees. Graham says he hopes to start a zombie bee study this summer with the help of his mosquito surveillance technicians. I don't know that it's a serious problem in Vermont. I, I doubt it at this point. Even so, with Cantrell's probable sighting, Englert is taking this zombie bee buzz seriously. It's a problem and we're going to have to face it and we need to and we need to figure it out and not laugh it off.